what's going on everybody so I was gonna make this upload yesterday and I found out news about the passing of Magdalene Burns all I know is this Magdalene you were a beast you were awesome and you spoke truth to power you had a lot of strength you had a lot of courage and you didn't back down so you have my ultimate and utmost respect as a human being. You are, you are a very honorable person. Peace out. Now, the upload yesterday was going to be about what I'm talking about today, but something came up last night that I got to include a link in the description to. A little bit of the Twitter conversation, okay? So it's a Twitter conversation so you can see kind of how these trans activists act and how they argue and everything so here's what happened I came across a post with this guy this one guy he's a, clearly a trans activist His name is Buck Buchanan first off Buck Buchanan I think he stole that name from a wrestler back in WWF during the 90s during like the late 90s early 2000s he just changed the name from Bull to Buck because his name was Bull Buchanan. Okay, so I think he changed that. But first off, here's what he did. I came into the post because he was conflating transgender bathrooms to post-slavery, post-Civil War America Jim Crow. The time period that my grandma grew up in. The time... The time period that my grandma tells me about, every single time I ask her about this, to tell me these stories, if it's a story I haven't heard before, because I've heard a few of them the same amount of times, because you know, I love my grandma's stories. But let me say this, let me say this. Every single time I hear a new one, it just blows my mind more, in more ways than the other ones have. I'll tell some of them sometime. I'll even see if I can get my grandma to tell some of them for you. But the two are nothing alike. Now, I got onto the conversation, and I told him as a black man how disrespectful what he was doing was by posting that. Now, I called him out for it. He goes and starts doing even more conflations. First, he denies it. I call out his denial and I show him he's wrong on his denial. He then goes to calling me a bigot, repeatedly calls me a bigot, an asshole, a douchebag, a dumb fuck, and every other kind of insult you could think of, and ends up blocking me. A friend of mine got on the post and said something to him about it, about, hey, what you're doing is just, you. this is not the same thing trans bathrooms of segregation or not and he went in and he basically went with what I said now I saw the screenshots because a friend of, a couple friends of mine are in the conversation so I saw a screenshot of it and what basically happened is I didn't see what Buck Buchanan said I saw what my friend said another friend of mine sent me screenshots Buck Buchanan basically accused me, me, of being a fake black man that's a white person hiding behind Twitter calling himself black. Do I look like a fake black man to you, motherfucker? Do I? Please. And there will be, you will have access to his Twitter handle because it will be in the screen, it will be in the description. So please, 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 send this video to Buck Buchanan. Let's see how fake of a black man I am to this motherfucker now. Okay, send him the video. Please, send it to him. I want him to see it. But the thing that got me the most was being called a bigot for pointing out the bigotry of what he was doing. So again, I really want him to see how stupid he is. Please send this to him after you see it. But I'm going to talk a bit about how Jim Crow and trans issues are different. 
When my grandmother was a young child, her and her family spent a large amount of her childhood fleeing the KKK, going state to state to state to state to state to state, fleeing them. Trans people are not doing that. They don't have to literally just pack up their belongings on short notice all of a sudden because the KKK is starting to harass them. The trans community doesn't have to do that. All they do is somebody says something they don't like, they go on Twitter and they bitch about it. My grandmother literally had to fear for her life as a young child. How, how are those two the same? The transgender bathrooms is basically because you're being told we don't agree that you could change your birth sex. That's basically what the trans bathrooms is about. Jim Crow segregated bathrooms was about blacks being viewed as lesser. Lesser than human. That's not why the trans issues are happening. Not because you're being dehumanized the way we were. Okay, and it and with the trans bathrooms thing, bringing up the segregated bathrooms of Jim Crow, the bathrooms weren't the only things that were segregated. Bathrooms were not the only things. Water fountains, drinking fountains, those were segregated. Buses, city buses, they were segregated. Blacks had to sit at the back of the bus by law. That's why Rosa Parks got arrested because she refused to sit in the back of the bus. Because the law said blacks had to sit at the back of the bus. There is no law that is doing anything to tell these transgendered people that they have to sit at the back of the bus, use separate drinking fountains. Okay, for them to compare being told they can't use the bathroom they want to Jim Crow is very disrespectful. So again, please send this to Buck Buchanan. Peace.